What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Hello Neighbor video. In today's video, I have something pretty exciting to show you guys. I have been playing this game way too much. <laughs> I have about 25 hours on the game and uh, like 10 of those are just from this update alone. I've been exploring everything and I have figured out how to get into some of the higher levels and I've, I've, I know what's behind some of the doors that you guys might not know what's behind them. So uh, I'm going to do that for you guys in this video. So first thing we want to do here is, of course, just go straight into the house. Next, I want to drop this box. I don't need it. Um, I turned off shadows, by the way, too, so things might seem a little bit brighter for you guys. Yeah, I realize that's a thing if you just simply press escape and then change your shadows off. But uh, first thing we want to do here is just go ahead and move these out of the way. It's I don't really ever go through this door. Oh, wait, my inventory is full. I don't really ever go through this door, but just to, you know, you never know when I, you know, if I do decide to go through there or not. So I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Go ahead and head over to the other one. Open this up. The neighbor's gonna be in this room right here, by the way. So uh, I figured out that's where like he spawns. It's either over there or like over here. But yeah, he's in there. He just flushed the toilet. All right. So while he's in there, we're gonna quickly go over here and break into here. There we go. Move this one, and there we go. So now we have all the doors open. One of the things that you want to do. He's gonna come around that corner any second now too. This is a problem. I'm gonna have to make this jump. Wait, he's not appearing. Okay, we're good. Whatever. Um, open this up. I did this in the wrong order, though, but you do want to grab the magnet because we need it for this part right here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm just going to show you guys all this stuff in case any of you guys are having problems with the update. There's a simple way of, like, you know, getting everything that you need. So there's our magnet. He might see me through the window right here. It wouldn't really be the biggest problem if I have to restart. He's actually going to hear that window break, too. Yep, there he is right there. Dang it. He's stuck on something. Ah, oh, dang it. He was stuck, too. Once again, not a big problem. He always spawns, like, right there from this side. So, what you want to do is run this way. The only problem with this is he's going to be right here around the corner right there. As you guys hear the music playing and he's running after me right now. So, my problem is I'm going to have to run and jump. Dang it. All right, I'm going to make that jump, guys. I'll start it once we actually get across there. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now that we're up here, we got to grab the key. Go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. Pick this puppy up. Oh, wait. I'm full on stuff. I have, a, I have a full inventory just because I always want something that I can throw at, like, a window or something to break it. So, uh, yeah. Oh, now that we have this key, though, go ahead and take it up here. Unlock this here door and uh, bust into here. Now what you want to do is jump on down here. Open this up just because. Why not? You know, you don't want... Oh, God. Where is he? Dude, he's breaking in that door. Why? Can he even break that? He just broke it down. All right. Well, we're screwed. We're dead. Where even is he? I don't even see him. He sees me, apparently. Where the heck is he? Is he on the... He broke down that door? Oh, my God, dude. This guy's the ultimate troll. Look at him. Where is he? All right, whatever. He He's over there somewhere. So now what you want to do is just run down here. You could do this step first if you want, depending on how you want to do it. But I just... I'm doing it now. No particular order. Um, you want to hit that, which is easiest with a box, which is right here. Now, for this, we want to get the golden key... If you guys don't know, this is how you get it. Ba-bam. Right there. Go ahead and pop out your metal detector thingy. Grab the key. Oh, God. Where'd the key go? Okay. I don't like when things fall because in this game, let's just say it's kind of broke. Where is he? Where? Why are you here? Oh, my God, dude. This neighbor is... This is probably the most annoying neighbor that they've had in all the updates, to be honest. All right. So, now that we have the key, though, we just got to go through here. He's going to be right around the corner like he always is. So let's quickly go. Okay, good. We made it out of there without him finding us. Grab the key out. Open this door. You could do... There's a bunch of other ways to get in this room, but whatever. This seems to be the easiest. Grab the gun and open up this just to be safe. We can also ditch the key because we don't really need it. It's not from my understanding. And uh, there we go. So now that we got the gun... Now, once again, this is one of those things where you don't need the gun to do it, but it makes it a lot easier. You just want to go over here and go ahead and hit the lift, which is right there. And up we go. Pop that window right there. And before we go through there, I'm going to show you guys this. As you can see, there's like a till machine right there. Um, that's what's on the other side of this door, and I'll show you guys how to get to the other side of this door in just a second. So, now that we're up here, you want to jump across, bada bing, bada boom. I, I'm thinking about collecting all the mannequins. There's a hidden mannequin in this room right here, which I'll show you guys when we get there. But I feel like if you got all of them, it might do something. I don't know. Just a thought. But still, once you get up here, you want to go right here, jump onto this, and now this part is at least another thing, but I'll show you guys what's up here. Um, let's go ahead and open this up, grab a box. Now that you got a box, place it right there and jump on it. Now, this allows you, once you get on this box, to actually jump through the window. And now you're up here. So, the advantage of being up here is literally nothing. Um, I got up here. I was super excited because I saw this thing. I was like, ooh, I get to touch it. You can also go up there. At least I think you can. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. 
It's one thing to stuff to test out, but you can go on here and you can actually look inside of this thing, which is nothing. So, yeah, for you guys that want to know what that is, it's apparently nothing. Um, this leads to up here. Once again, nothing you can really do over here. Um, you can see that there's actually a ladder that leads up to that part and that generator. I don't know how you would ever get there because, like, it seems like, oh, there's actually a door. So if you could somehow figure out how to get in there, which I don't think it's possible, but, I mean, there's no telling. I'm guessing that door opens and you can actually fall over to there, which would be super cool. The neighbor's actually hunting me. I don't know where he is. And this part right here leads to where you get the crowbar, if you guys know what that is. Like, there's a ladder right there, but still, pretty cool area. Now, once you're done with that, you just want to jump back up here, and I think you can go back in. Yeah, okay, you're good to go back in right here. Now, here comes the more cool part. As you can see, we're going to run through here. There's the vault. You guys have seen it before. Move this chair out of the way, come into here, and it's playing the music, but he, he, the neighbor can't even get up here from my understanding. But now, let's go ahead and go over here. And uh, once again, there's this locked door, which, by the way, another little secret here. Let's go ahead and pop out our flashlight and look through. And there's the other side of the, key, the QR code. If you guys actually pop over, if you look on the right side of the screen right there, the other side of the QR code is right there. I'm going to see, can I move this chair? No. And the thing is, there's a door right there. You can actually get to that door. I've gotten to it. You cannot unlock the door. Like, it makes a sound like it's moving, but it, it doesn't move. So, once again, it's one of those doors that I guess they just never expected you to get to. I really don't know. But there's the other side of the QR code. Pretty cool. Now that we're over here, though, let's go ahead and go to the next area. Now, you want to go out here where the QR code was and just simply just go on the edge like this. This is a little bit difficult to do, but you'll land on the window sill. Oh, dang it. I messed it up. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but I messed it up, guys. You got to land on that thing. It's a little difficult to do, but if you can land on it, you can actually go inside the window, which is what we're going to be doing. So I'll cut to that part in right now. All right, so here we go again. Now we just want to try to... I did it on this window sill. It seemed to have the best effect. So let's just try to recreate it. There we go. Got it. Now, the whole reason why I got up here, why I wanted to come down here in the first place, was that for this right here, I thought maybe I could turn it, it might do something, but no, it's literally, you can't interact with it at all, unfortunately, and that way just leads to nothing, and this way leads to nothing, too. So, what you want to do here is go into here. As you guys can see, this is a secret room. Once again, this is one of those rooms that they didn't think you would get into, I guess, because if you look over there, there's a switch. I haven't tried shooting the switch. Let me see if you actually can. No, okay, see, so you literally can't even shoot past this. But there is a switch over there, and uh, it leads to nothing. It's it's really weird, but I don't know. I, I figure maybe there is a way of getting over there. Maybe you can touch the switch. It might do something. There's not even a black like cord going to it or anything like that. So it's really strange. But now let's go over here, and well, you have a mannequin just just sitting here. It's it's really weird. It's it, it's strange to say the least. But I'm gonna grab it, see if we can do anything with it, and then a the door right here. Now you may be wondering what's on the other side of this door. Well, if you look right through it. It is the till machine. It's that door that, that we saw from the other one. At least that's what it looks like. It's hard to kind of see, but if you can see in there, see if I can get a good angle for you guys. It's kind of hard, but basically I think it's the till machine from the other room that we were in. So once again, that's another one of those rooms that they never thought you would get into, I guess. And if you did, it would lead over to here. So I don't know, guys. Something's very strange. It's got a lot of stuff like unanswered, and this just leads to that area right there. But... It's got a lot of st like stuff unanswered, and like when you finally do get to these parts, it's like it's unfinished. So I don't know if they're gonna re-update the game or something, and like maybe add more. I don't know. It's really strange. Like there's stuff in here that it's just not complete, but it seems like it should be. But I don't know. Like it's the weirdest thing. I'm gonna obviously keep playing because there's a lot more stuff to explore. Like see, as you can see, that's the part right there that has the door underneath it that you can actually fall to get to there. The only problem is if you look at it, and if I had binoculars, it'd be easier. I don't think you can actually get in there, like, at all. It's like, even if you were to, like, crawl under that curtain right there, because I could put a box here, I could probably stack boxes and then jump over it, but I don't see the point, because I don't think you can actually get through the curtain. Now, that side over there, I'm not sure about. I mean, maybe you can get through there, but it just doesn't seem like it's something that's possible. Now, once again, the way that I think you can probably get up there is with the elevator. Now, the weird thing about the elevator is, if I can actually make this jump, I guess it doesn't really matter, but the weird thing about the elevator is, if you actually, I don't know if we can actually, like, clip through and look down into it. Yeah, you can. Okay. See, there's no sort of elevator in there. So, I don't think you can actually ride this thing, unless it's at the top floor, and you've got to somehow call it down. I don't think it's possible to actually ride this thing down. So, I don't know, like, I feel like I've kind of debunked everything on this map. I feel like I've kind of, you know, cracked the code, like, I've figured out everything out on this map. But still, 
I don't know, guys. There's still a lot more things to find out. Like, I don't want to say, you know, there's this, it's 100% done, the update. Because I'm sure that there is still more stuff to find. But so far, the only thing that I really don't know about is getting up there. That generator, what that could possibly do. Because if you actually follow it, it, like, links into the building somewhere. Which I didn't want to follow that and see exactly where it let... Oh, God. He's, he's busting down the door. That, uh, that's actually kind of scary. But, yeah, it, it's weird, dude. And then not only that, but if we actually go in here... Another weird thing is... Okay, come on, guy. There we go. Oh, let me see if I can show you. Another weird thing is this part right here. I'm going to close the door. Hopefully, he just has to bust it down. But yeah, this part right here, it only lights up when you go up to it. It's got a mannequin. It's it's really strange. I'm going to place this... Okay, I stepped on one of his traps, apparently. It's really strange. I'm going to place this mannequin here. Maybe he'll do something. I don't... What? Okay, the mannequin just disappeared. That's another annoying glitch because like you go through all of this and then you place something down and it can just disappear into the floor. <laughs> like That's happened to me with the gun the key like everything important and it really sucks when it happens let me see if this oh god i just want to see if the mannequin is still there it's not there all right whatever but yeah that's really it guys um like i said before you can go up into that room it doesn't really do anything i think we are in that floor right there you see where those two windows are i think that's where we were so i mean i don't know like it it, it bothers me that if, if this if you actually can't get up there it bothers me that they bothered to put it in there in the first place you know what i'm saying like there's that part right there too which has like a shelf on it i want to bring binoculars to see if like there's like a key or something in there but i doubt it you can't even get to that by the way like unless you like fly up there but still it's 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 just strange that they would add all that stuff in but you can't do anything with it unless they're planning on coming out with another update but i don't know it, it's it's really strange now the one that, the other thing I want to mention is this right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get away from the neighbor. You press M, you unlock this menu right here. Now, the weird thing is, at first, I thought, oh, you can't do anything with this. Like, if you press the bottom one, it just used to restart your game. Now, if you press it, it doesn't do anything. But if you actually hold it, so if I go onto it, I hold it, and then I press what I do. I think it was, if you hold it, hold on. So, you, it's really weird. It's like a really broken menu. But if you can get it to work, it pops up this. Now, you can actually turn these bars, but... Your mouse cursor is invisible, so you've got to like, you've got to like go to where it is on the screen and somehow select it. It's really hard to do, but I have done it in the past. But like, there's other menus beside this one too. They they don't make any sense at all. It's the weirdest thing. See, look, you can pu pull down this bar. I can actually click that one. It doesn't do anything. There's there's no way of getting out of it. You can actually t pull up the bar like I just did. See, I pulled it up a little bit right there. But then. Even if you get out of this, like if I press escape, you have to hold it. You have to go on one of these bars, hold it, and then press escape to go back. It's, it's really hard to use. but And then if I try to exit out of the game and go back to the game again, it doesn't let me. So, I don't know. It, it seems broken. Like, I don't know what this is. It's, it's obviously some sort of secret that they wanted to add in, but it doesn't seem to work. So I don't know what to do with it. I, I tried like, oh, now I closed out of the game. <laughs> I tried like, you know like you know messing with the settings turning all these bars up and then restarting my game it didn't do anything when i turned it back on i don't know like i thought maybe these would turn it to daytime or something cool like that but it seems like they're just kind of useless which is, it's strange because like why would they add it in here like th this has to do something but i just don't know what it's the weirdest freaking thing but like i said before though that's really it for this video if you guys enjoyed drop a like on the video if you guys have any idea what to do next because i'm still gonna be playing this i'm probably gonna put like another five hours in i'm gonna get the binoculars i'm gonna see if i can see anything you know secret i'm gonna follow that cord i'm gonna look at some of the pictures and clues and stuff like that and try to decode this update but seriously i think it might be finished for now at least until we figure out what to do with this menu but yeah, that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.